What's up guys, it's your boy DS and today we are going to be playing some more games with Akari and we're going to be using Christina with her as well. Uh, I've been enjoying this combination a lot because obviously you're not like you're taking Akari pretty much into Valentine's, right? And it's just it's just a such it's such a good combo. It works really well. I like it a lot. Um So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the builds and then after that we can get into some uh, matches or whatever so looking at akari she does have the same build as last time i didn't change anything still 305 speed and then i mean whatever else you can get into accuracy and effectiveness but uh pretty much you want her to be fast that's pretty much it um you know just whatever gear you can use that's how you do it i do have her ee uh and this is effectiveness right here uh as far as skills go I literally only have her ultimate leveled because that's all we care about. Moving on to Christina. I got her on the slower full bulk build. 1600 defense, 13,000 HP, 150 speed. Uh, literally just pure bulk. As far as gear goes, uh, just whatever you can get as far as bulk. As you see right here, even though this is attack percent, I'm using this because this allows her to take 15% of the damage of the team, making my team a lot tankier. And then... Uh, grants a barrier to the caster equal to 10% of health whenever you perform an action. So she's going to proc her agile response, and then she's going to get a barrier. So that's really nice for her. Uh, as far as her, I don't have her EE. She is on HP right here, and then non-attack skill for her uh, S2. Skill, you only need to get this to level 2. I have it maxed out, but yeah, that's pretty much all we're using or needing for uh, those units. Now, I do still have her, them on my defense, so we can go ahead and check the defense and see um how it performed uh, okay so one win one loss okay i'll take it this is a stall comp more you know two tanks and a bruiser so i'm not really surprised i lost to this and obviously guy tried to take valentine into me ended up losing uh as far as the defense team goes somebody in my comment section was just like why take christina i feel like mene would be a lot better for this team and I'm not saying Mene wouldn't work with this team. I think Mene works with this team really well. But the difference is, Christina is, a, is giving the team mitigation. As you guys see, whenever they're taking Valentine into my team, Christina's also giving Agile response. And you could ask yourself, all right, well, what if Akari just, they, they take Akari into my team? Well, you're not going to really be taking Akari into Akari because Akari doesn't buff. So that defeats the purpose of the unbuffable, right? Not to mention... If, you, if you're taking, like, Nodia, my D-Stella is going to proc. So, you're taking Akari with, like, who? So, uh, that's why I feel like this team works really well. Obviously, you can run Mene if you want to. But I think this team works really well because D-Stella allows some of the things that would beat these two units to not be used. You can't use Notia, so you got to wait for another unit to go that has deep, you know, that can attack. But you got to realize all those other units proc Revenge. So, unless you're using Tamara to reset D-Stella... There's pretty much no other way you're going to stop D-Stella from using Revenge Counter. So, uh, pretty good team or defense so far. Uh, I think I have like two losses, three wins as far as this defense goes. So, uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and get into some matches and see what we can do. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do this. All right, unbuffable. We missed two. That's fine. We unbuffable who we wanted to, right? We, we wanted to unbuffable those two. Agile response. Then she goes. The Stella counter. Yes, sir. And Tamara is almost dead. And Diaste died. So this is the thing. Diaste is going to ult. Team is going to tank it because of Christina. Like, my team literally would be... Okay, well, this is... Well, I mean, I'm not worried about this. Okay, she crit. Oh, didn't crit my Diaste, though. Unlucky, huh? But yeah, so like my team is still alive because of all the mitigation we're getting from Christina. Uh, yeah, I mean this guy's dead. Nice, 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 nice. Who do we miss? Okay, she doesn't matter. Yeah. Easy first win. So yeah, so as you guys see, even if you're taking her into, uh, Tamara, perfectly fine. As long as you get that unbuffable, because a lot of people are running, you know, Tamara and all these units on 50% crit, or like 40 plus, 
And it's like, if Valentine doesn't get that buff to them, they are kind of, you know, they kind of can't do much. Yeah, we can try this team. All we got to do is outspeed. I mean, that's the main thing is outspeed. And so for the guy that was talking about putting Mene on this team, if, if y'all don't know, for those of you that don't know, Mene does have plus 10 speed to the team whenever you have her six star. Obviously, it's plus five at four star. So that would be giving her plus 10 speed, making her 315. So, uh, obviously, I don't have her six star yet. So I can't do that anyway, right? You look at my Mene, she's only four star. Meaning, I'm only getting that plus five speed. But, uh, you know, if, once I get her six star or something like that, we could try a setup like that or some, something to that effect. But anyway, uh, hopefully we outspeed. If we don't, I mean, we kind of just... Do we even do we I don't even know if we lose I guess we're not gonna find out huh yeah 98 yeah see I feel like I always outspeed uh, until I get to like di like diamond plus I mean at this point we just auto yep hit everybody everybody yep okay nice but debuffs we didn't unbuffable D Stella though. That's a yikes. But we defense broke her, so it doesn't matter. Right? Defense break. Nice. Oh, well, she's old. Does she, does she hit Valentine? Okay, she actually hit the one unit we didn't want to get hit with that. Um, I mean, nothing we could do. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's nothing, wait, counter, oh my. Okay, um. I mean, she goes, and she burns. I mean, we're chilling, though. And then, uh, we can extend the debuffs. Oh, nice. And I mean, like, it's pretty much in the bag. We just have to hit these Stella like once or twice. Okay, if we hit her, let's 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 say that. Attack down. Okay, we miss again. All right, D Stella. I mean, Diaste's up. All right, Diaste. Go ahead and hit for me. Thank you. Yeah, like if Diaste hits, she kills. All right, so we're back to Diamond 3. Obviously, it reset. It dropped us to the beginning of Diamond 3. So I took a couple of arena losses. They dropped me to Plat, but we're back in Diamond. Um, yeah, these stall comps are not... You really don't want to go against these stall comps. All right, so for the last match, we're going to go ahead and go against this team right here. Same thing, Valentine. Uh, one thing to note about teams like this, they're very misleading. His Valentine could be really slow. And then, like, she just takes the turn and just ults. I've, I've seen a couple of different people using that. Where it's like, they I guess they're trying to bait out the Valentine counter. Obviously not this guy here. But there are times where they try to bait out the Valentine counter. And then this unit is, like, pretty fast. And she just ults, right? Now, that doesn't work. I'm not going to say it works 100% of the time or anything. But, you know. It is something to note. Alright, Miss D Stella, like usual. Get the counter. We're just going to do that. That way we don't pop her counter because she has no bu debuffs. But yeah, so this ult, this ult's gonna hurt. What would have hurt more if he crit, but he didn't because he didn't get the buffs. Which is really good for us. And there's defense breaks. Alright, so we ult with Diaste. We crit everybody, so yeah, he's just dead. So there you guys have it. That is Christina and Akari. I'm really enjoying using these two units. Um, obviously, I'll try some other like team comps and stuff. But I feel like since Akari doesn't work really well with Nodia, you're not going to be running her in a cleave setup near as often. So I'm running her in a 
uh, more of a standard type of matchup, so to speak. I feel like this is where she works really well. Obviously, if there's immunities, you wouldn't take her at all. And uh, if you're wanting to cleave, you're probably going to use Veronica, Tamara, Notia. So I feel like this is kind of what she's used for as far as right now. Obviously, when RTA comes out, we might have, you know, find different scenarios or whatever the case may be. But as far as right now, I feel like this is a very good way to use this character. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys did in the comment section. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.